Hey you guys, it's me Kayla and welcome to my channel. Today I am finally going to be giving you guys a tour of my updated lip balm collection organization. I just updated this not too long ago and I am just absolutely obsessed with the way everything is set up right now. I have so much more room for new lip balms and it just makes me love collecting that much more when everything is nice, neat, and organized the way I want it to be. I have a feeling that you guys are going to find this video very, very satisfying because I know for me personally, I could spend hours just like admiring the lip balms in my collection. I know it sounds crazy and strange, um, but if you're a lip balm collector, then you would totally understand. I've been collecting lip balms since I was around 13 years old, and for those of you that are new to my channel and you don't know this already, I have probably around five to 6,000 in my collection. I'm actually not exactly sure how many I have, but I always somehow make room for more. Anyways guys, enough of me talking. Without further ado, we are just going to get straight into the collection video. And I really hope that you guys will enjoy watching and hopefully find this satisfying, entertaining, just fun to watch in general, okay? So let's get started. Okay, so here is an overview of my lip balm collection organization. Yeah, it's a little bit crazy, but you will see very soon that it is all really neatly organized. But okay, so we are actually going to start off down here on the floor, and I'm gonna show you guys all of my unopened lip balms. Um, I actually just opened up quite a few packs last night because I wanted all of my unopens to fit in this bin right here without any issues. So I did open up quite a few packs. After I go through these, I'm going to be putting them in the bin so that they are out of the way and I can show you everything else after this. So, okay. First, we have these two Lip Smacker Candy Trio sets from Christmas time. Um, we have these adorable little lip shaped lip balms, lip glosses. Yeah, I've had these for a while. I just can't get myself to open them because look at the packaging. It's literally like magical. We have these three little Lip Smacker Candy Cane Trio sets. I'll be honest, I like them way more when they're in their original packaging than when I open them because they're just basic flavors. So I would rather see them in the cute packaging than have them opened up and just blended in with the rest, if that makes sense. Um, these, I don't know if I'll ever open because they are so cool. They are Holiday Lip Smacker Snow Globes and this one is based off of New York. And then this one is based off of Los Angeles. So super duper cool. We have some Mickey Mouse Lip Smackers. These fun little holiday lip balms. And these are lip balms that once again, once you open them, they're just like really boring because they're literally just solid colored balls and it's just no fun once they're open. So um, I'm gonna put these away. These right here, um, a fan actually sent to me. Apparently they are color changing mood lip balms. So I do wanna try these out eventually, but I just haven't gotten around to opening them up yet. We have these adorable little Lip Smacker Skull lip balms. This S'mores Chapstick Trio set. Um, a whole bunch of just like individual stick format lip balms. I think most of these are like candy themed. Oh, look, three magical lip balms in a row. We have a rainbow themed one, a catacorn, like unicorn plus cat, yeah. And then this unicorn one. So we're gonna put these away. We have this Revo Spring Edition pack. And the reason I didn't open these is because the flavors are not on the packaging anywhere. So we have those. I'm just gonna put the rest away because you guys have seen them. Oh, look how cute, guys. Toy Story Lip Smacker keychains. Well, this isn't from Toy Story. This is from Monsters, Inc. Little boo. But anyway, you get it. So those were my unopened lip balms. And again, I just keep them in this clear container and they fit perfectly, which is really awesome. So anyway, now let's get down to it. So guys, we are going to start right here. And as you can see, sitting on top, I have this super duper cute lip coin bank, um, but clearly I don't actually use it for that. As you can hear, there's no money in there. I just use it for decoration. So we have that sitting on top and right in front, let's address the elephant in the room. You guys, I am beyond excited to announce that I am now making jumbo lip cessed lip balms. Let me show you a size comparison, okay? So again, this is a jumbo size and my lip sets are down here. We'll go through these later, but okay. Here is one from Valentine's Day, um, total flirt, lovely lollipop. Okay, look at that. Can you even believe it? I am 
absolutely lip obsessed with these. So the two flavors that I have out right now are banana split sundae. This literally smells so realistic, it's scary. Um, same with, whoa, okay, it's running away from me. <laughs> same with this one. This is confetti cake, and it smells like funfetti cake mix and buttercream frosting. I just, I adore these. Look how good they look with my nails. Oh my gosh, yes. Well, anyway, so I had to point those out to you guys. I have them on display because they're brand new, and any lip balms that I have like on display up here are ones that I'm currently using and loving. So, okay, anyway, let's start with the top drawer. So as you can see, I have my ChapStick brand lip balms in here, and I'll just kind of skim through them. Whoa, what is this one? Caramel cream? Honestly, I didn't even realize that I owned this. See, that's the thing about having a big collection. Sometimes I'll order things and then I'll realize that I already have them, um, especially with brands like this, because I don't know, they just kind of blend together and you don't even realize what you have sometimes. And then if we go to the middle drawer, we have even more ChapStick brand lip balms. The packaging for these are just a little bit different. Um, so these are the ChapStick Total Hydration Balms and I have most of them, not all of them, but I do have most of them. And what intrigues me about these is just like the different uh, colors, honestly. And they do work pretty nicely, but if I'm being honest, I was just like, oh my gosh, I need to get all the colors. So that's what I love about collecting lip balms. There's so much variety. Um, then in the back, we have these Chapstick Duo lip balms. This one is cotton candy and cupcake flavored, and it just so happens to be my favorite. So, Moving right along to the bottom drawer. Okay, this one is like stuffed to the max, but um, we have just enough space. So this is where I keep my soft lips. So we have these really cute Hello Kitty ones. This one's apple cider, gingerbread, tangerine. Um, and then these right here, these kind of look like ice cubes. These are literally called soft lips cubes. So I love the packaging, super duper unique. I have a bunch of Hello Kitty ones, as you can see. Um, we have some of the really super duper skinny soft lips in the back. And then um, I also have a few of these. These are my least favorite packaging for soft lips. I don't know why, I just don't really like those. So anyway, now we are going to continue with this section right here and then we will move on to the right side, of course. So update with my random shaped lip balm collection. I used to have them all jumbled together but I ran out of space. So what I did was I kind of organized them like this. Okay, so in this drawer right here in the top drawer, I have all of my random lip balms that have faces pretty much. So any type of character or like I said, just anything with a face. So we have anything from Santa Claus to peeps to literal little people. Um, let's see, we have a black skull. I love these. They're like little monster lip balms. I have quite a few. I ordered them off of Amazon. Um, I don't know if this is a strawberry or a tomato or an apple or what the heck it is. I think it's an apple maybe. I have inside out lip balms. Just listen to that sound. Oh, it's so satisfying. Just listen. Oh no, his head came off. He got decapitated. Oh no. Get on there. Hang on. His head just does not want to stay on. I always have issues with his head. But, okay. So, yeah. Look how cute this one is. It's a little blueberry. There's something about this drawer right here that I just love. Like, it's a little gargoyle in the flavor Scary Cherry. Love it. Um, but, yeah. So, that was the top drawer of this organizer. Then the second one still has random shaped lip balms, except you will see in this drawer, there are no character balms. So none of these have faces pretty much. Um, we have lots of these macaroon lip balms in this drawer. We have little uh, Christmas ornament ones. There are so many um, lip balms in here that look like this. Very, very satisfying. We have these sparkly shell lip balms, this little razzles lip balm. I, oh, this is so satisfying. Look. It's supposed to be like Razzle's gum. Okay. Oh, see what I told you about the disco balls? I have like every single color, but okay. We have two little ring pop lip glosses and honestly, oh wait, look how pretty this is. Yes. 
yes i am just addicted to these fun shaped lip balms um even though the quality of these lip glosses aren't always the best i just think they are definitely the most fun part of my lip balm collection there's something i like about each um collection each section if you will so i will go through that as i continue through this video but all right next up in this drawer now this drawer is stuffed to the max and i'm gonna have to find a way to find more storage space but for right now it works these are my random stick format lip balms so um let's just open it up as you can see sticking out in front i have all of my lip balms by the brand treat this one is my favorite it's called oatmeal cream pie and i love it and then there are just so many in this drawer but i can't really go through it too too much because um it's kind of hard to close because like i said it is very very full but you can kind of just see through the drawer like what i have there's a chicken poop lip balm right there and another chicken poop lip balm right there we got santa claus and yeah there's tons in here and i do really like this collection but oh malt balls this is by liquor lips so some of the lip balms in here are like the natural organic ones like treat liquor lips i have some um what's it called my lip stuff in here and then others are like super duper cheap like this one so there's a little mix of everything but i'm gonna try to shut this drawer okay there we go see it works all right now if we keep going down we have my lot of love and taste beauty lip balm drawer and i love these lip balms because the packaging is always so fun and vibrant um they're relatively inexpensive and the quality is pretty decent for the price that you pay um i will admit though i mainly like these just because of the fun packaging and the many 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 options that they offer i mean they have fun shaped lip balms they have like real jumbo lip balms i mean i showed you my jumbo lip balms and they're big but these are like colossal they are humongous so i have quite a few of these i think i have all the ones that they have and if not i want to get them all because i think they're really fun um fyi the whole tube isn't actually full of product though um you think it is but you only get about that much product from here up but it's still good um let's see these were sold at claire's a really long time ago and i missed them they had so many fun flavors and if i remember correctly they actually used to smell pretty decent like the names um this one i've had for such a long time and i just love the packaging see once again some of the reasons that i love this brand and this drawer is just because of the different fun shapes and flavors and again the price is really good um they have character bombs like spongebob i know i have some care bear ones in here and even some charlie brown um got some foodie ones and oh i just love the ones that are in the shapes of tiny little boxes they're just so satisfying so anyway um yeah we have icy ones i don't want to spend too too much time in this drawer although i could very easily do so now for my favorite drawers we have lip Cest lip balms so if you didn't know lip Cest is my very own lip balm brand I launched my brand back in the year of 2016, so it's been around for almost four whole years at this point, which is crazy. And um, yes, all of these flavors are different. Uh, this flavor is one of my newer ones. It's called Pez Candy Fun, and it smells like actual Pez. Here's one that you guys will like. It's called It's the Bomb.com in Slayberry Shortcake. This was part of the Starfam collection, and it actually smells like strawberry shortcake. All of the flavors are extremely accurate. Um, I'm fairly confident. You could ask anyone who's ordered if the scents are accurate and they will say, yes, they are spot on. Also, for anybody who is unaware, um, my lip balms are also natural and organic. So I use the best ingredients. They're cruelty free. Um, I sell them for $3.50 each. There's something called buildabomb.com that I offer on my eBay and Etsy shop where you can literally create any flavors you want. Literally anything under the sun. It's really, really cool. Ooh, wait, this is one of my favorites. Triple Cherry Cheesecake. This came out last year around Valentine's Day and it is so good. Oh, here's a super weird one. I released this a long time ago. It's called Thanksgiving Turkey and it'll never be released again, but 
it was hot while it lasted. Kettle corn craving. Who's hungry? I will show you guys my most recent collection. I have it over here by my nightstand because I've been using them a lot lately. Um, but let's see. Okay, so let me take these two out. These were freebies for Free Loop Sest Day, Party Cake Peeps and Cotton Candy Peeps. Anyway, but this new collection, it is called the Hello Spring Set. And I wanna know which one you guys would like to try the most if you could try these out. Okay, so this one is called Spring Showers in the flavor Lemon Drops and Gum Drops. Then we have Dirt Pudding in the flavor Chocolate Pudding. It literally smells and tastes like Oreos and chocolate pudding, it's so good. Honey Bee Buzz in the flavor Golden Honey Pot. Gummy Worms in the flavor, well, Fruity Gummy Worms. Misty Rainbow in the flavor Rain Kissed Raspberries. And then we have Butterfly Bliss in the flavor Lavender Vanilla. Again, comment below which one you want to try the most. My personal favorite is the Butterfly Bliss, but it changes all the time. So I'm going to set these off to the side. If you guys would like to try out my brand and order some of these lip balms for yourselves, I'll have the links to my eBay and Etsy shop in the description box below. I would love for you to try them out and let me know how you like them. Also, if you've ever tried Lip Sess before, uh, leave a review below so other people can see how you like them. But anyway, okay, enough about Lip Sess. We are going to move on to this section right here. So we are going to start off up here. I have this adorable little lip smacker mascot stuffed animal. He's so cute. So he's just chilling up there. And then I have two Liplicious lip glosses. This one is probably one of my favorite Liplicious. It's in Strawberry Parfait. And then this one is Kiss Me I'm Irish. And I believe the flavor is like peppermint or something. Then in this top drawer, we have tons and tons of Liplicious lip glosses. Now, for those of you that are unaware, you can find these exclusively at Bath & Body Works. Um, they don't always have them in stock though. I've noticed they usually have them out seasonally, especially for um, Christmas time. So um, yeah, we have lots and lots of different flavors in here. Ooh, this is another one of my favorites. This is Banana Split and it smells like the real deal. Ooh, this is a coffee flavor. It is a Bean Me Up Caramel Latte. A lot of these are really discontinued and rare. Like this one is from 2011, but um, the thing I love about these is that they really don't seem to ever go bad. I mean, they might technically have an expiration date, but if they do, I would never notice. So I have one from 2010 in here and it still smells spot on. Then we have my Pucker Pops in the middle drawer and I just love these. I never really use them if I'm being honest because the quality of the product isn't really the best. However, um, what I love about them is just the fun factor. Like this one is sparkly with pink sunglasses. We have a banana and a peach. Oh my gosh, this one's so funny. He's got a fun little mustache and a sombrero. Oh, I didn't even notice I had doubles of these. That's so crazy. We have this little dancer one and yeah, as you guys can see, I really love Pucker Pops. Oh wait, look at this one. Hang on. Ah, watch. His tongue comes out at you. Okay, so then in the bottom drawer, we have Baby Lips. And I'll be honest with you guys, I was never a huge fan of Baby Lips. I mean, maybe I went through a very short phase where I did try to collect all of them. But overall, um, Baby Lips were never really my thing. Um, I mean, I think it's cool that they come in different tints. However, I feel like most of the tints don't really complement my skin tone very well. Like they're just kind of off the wall. Like there's an orange one, there's a yellow one. Um, I mean, this one's a pretty pink, but again, it just doesn't really complement me well. So, but I do have like one of each, I think. All right, so now we are going to get into the other six drawers. On top, you guys, I finally have a special drawer for one of each of my EOS lip balms. So this is my favorite EOS. It's in the flavor Honey Apple. And if you've never tried it, I definitely recommend that you give it a try. It is my favorite lip balm like ever. So love this. I also really love the peppermint cream. And um, oh, here's my fake EOS. I know a lot of people are gonna ask me what the dark purple one is. It's fake. It was called Cherry Queen of Fruits online and it intrigued me when I was like 14, so I ordered it. And it smells like old lady bathroom soap. Don't recommend. But yeah, so those are my EOS. Oh, and by the way, I do have some of the smooth sticks in there in case you guys didn't know. In the second drawer down, we have my Revos. And oh my gosh, an EOS. I, mm, girl, I did this organizing at like, 12 a.m. So sorry about that. 
but overall I think I did pretty good with separating them because they used to be mixed together in case you guys didn't know but now they have their own spaces so I love Revo's I think that they are very fun the flavors are usually spot on but the sad thing is these are pretty discontinued now um, every now and then you will find the push-up ones at the Dollar Tree but those were never my favorites the ones that I really loved were the original like spherical packaging ones this one is in the flavor coconut cream um, and the one downside with these is that they don't say the name of the flavor anywhere so you just have to like really remember and I remember this one is black cat cherry because this is really rare and it used to go on eBay for literally like a hundred dollars and I'm not just saying that yeah we have tons of Christmas ones I love the Christmas ones because whoa, because they look like little bulbs that you hang on your tree. We have these little mini Revo twist and pouts that are now considered rare. So I have some sporty ones. And then I also have some like these with like fun, funky, girly packaging. So yeah, that's my Revo drawer. Then we're gonna go down a little bit more. Um, the next four drawers are actually all dedicated to a lip smacker. If you couldn't tell, I really love lip smackers. So we're gonna go through this drawer first. And honestly, um, all the lip smackers in here are just mixed flavors. They're like the classic stick format shape. Um, and it's just a whole bunch of fun flavors, like I said. So, I mean, we have holiday ones in here. We have princess ones. We have really uh, vintage ones. Like I just saw a jello one. Where is it? Yeah. So this is like not super vintage, but it is pretty, pretty rare. So it's very blue. And I love, let me show you. I love how the balm is clear and it still smells so good. It smells like, um, I don't know how to explain it. Oh, like a blue Jolly Rancher. Lip smackers are the bomb. They smell good, they taste good, and there's just so much history with them. And that's also really enticing to me. So then we have another drawer. Um, once again, it's just full to the top of random flavors. We have Skittles ones, M&M ones. Ooh, I love these Paul Frank ones. This is Scorpio's caramel corn with a little hamster. Pretty, uh, pretty rare, not vintage, but rare. All right, and now moving on to the second to last drawer, we have more lip smackers. In here, we have Lip Smacker Lippy Pals. These are all pandas in different colors. So I haven't opened them yet, but they look really cool with my nails. Look at that. Okay, um, in this bag right here, I have lots of rare vintage Lip Smackers, and these are like my most prized possessions. This one is Chocolate Milk, it came out in the year 2000. Grape Jelly, um, Peanut Butter. They were a duo set in case you didn't know. Um, there are so many. I'll have to make a separate video showing them at some point if that's something you guys are interested in. But then, um, these aren't really organized too well, but I'll kind of explain. So in this corner, we have all of my um, drink-shaped lip smackers. So we have like frappuccinos back here. We have different soda flavors and um, we have these little bottle caps. Those are super fun. I have a few lippy pals, but not as many as I'd like to have. So maybe I'll have to open these up so I can give these guys some friends. Um, we have Lip Smacker tins and these little glosses that I got from the holiday advent calendar by Lip Smacker. Ooh, I just opened these last night. So these are Crayola themed Lip Smacker lip glosses and they smell amazing. We have a Paul Frank coconut cream lip gloss and yeah just some more lip smacker tins i really love these so then guys the very last lip balm drawer that i'm going to be going through is full of lip smacker zoom zooms so we have tons of different disney characters in here and um i wish that they would create more of these i love them so much we have mike wazowski and i believe the flavor is let's see monster sunday and we have sully in the flavor cookies and scream eeyore this one was my favorite for a while it's in the flavor cheer up buttercup and it's an amazing flavor um we have dumbo in the flavor peanut butter milkshake so i hope that they come out with more of these in the future and like do every single disney character to ever exist i will literally buy every single one because that would be amazing so you guys that was all for my updated lip balm collection organization 
If you like this video, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And the question of the day is, hmm, what was your favorite bin of lip balm that I showed you? Did you like my random lip balms? Did you like my lip smackers? My lip cest? Just comment below what you liked the best. But I love you all to the moon and back. Thank you again for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Mwah.